but I found this one real effective. If he locks in, I grab into my thigh. Yeah, from here with this hand, I'm going to just arch his hand this way. Yeah, and I was actually showed to, we're doing armbar escapes. And you know, when people do armbars, you're waiting for that little bit of looseness where you can turn to the side and suck that elbow in, yeah? So, he, so Barrett would turn to the side and suck his elbow into the ground. Boom, yeah, and you lose the armbar, yeah? So when we're doing that, all the different techniques, there was a split second that you could actually turn over and suck that arm in, yeah? Even if I'm doing this, because look how, I'm not even holding on to this as tightly. There's no tightness in it because I'm reaching over here. So if he were to explode and suck in at that time, I, I lose the arm, yeah? Even if I'm doing this and I'm doing this kind of stuff, yeah, see how he can just release and turn to his side, almost like he's shrimping, and he can get out and suck this elbow down, yeah? But when this guy did this to me, fuck, I swear, I must have done it like 20 times, and I couldn't get out, okay? So I stay tight, I use leverage right here. So if Barrett holds it tight, yeah? And then I'm here, and I'm gonna just come here, and I'm not pulling back, I'm gonna go like that, yeah? There's no time that you can suck your elbow in. I've tried it 20 <laughs> times and I couldn't. Here, come here, and I'm gonna just torque. See that? And once it comes to that point, I'm gonna just come and grab. Okay? Yeah, one, two, three. Real small points, but real important. 